Today's topic is brain hemorrhages. Four major types of brain hemorrhages include epidural, subdural, subarachnoid, and intracerebral. The name of the hemorrhage is based on where the hematoma, or collection of blood, accumulates. Epidural accumulates on top of the dura mater. Subdural is below the dura mater. Subarachnoid is underneath the arachnoid mater. And intracerebral is within the brain itself. Epidural hemorrhages most commonly result from a blow to the skull or skull fractures. The blood comes from a bleeding artery and collects between the dura mater and the skull, rapidly increasing the pressure on the brain. Treatment involves surgically draining the hematoma to relieve the pressure. With subdural hemorrhages, blood comes from the severed bridging veins that drain blood from the cerebral cortex into the sagittal sinus. Symptoms of subdural hemorrhage typically have a slower onset than epidural bleeds because the bleeding comes from veins instead of arteries. Under conditions of shaken baby syndrome or whiplash, the brain moves intensely inside the skull and shears off the bridging veins just superior to the arachnoid membrane. Blood starts to fill the space between the arachnoid and dura maters. With subarachnoid hemorrhages, blood collects in the subarachnoid space, which is between the arachnoid and pia mater. This is the same space where cerebral spinal fluid is found. The bleeding may occur by spontaneous rupture or as a result of head injury. The most common symptom is called thunderclap headache and develops immediately within seconds and feels like a kick to the head. Intracerebral hemorrhages occur within the brain itself and usually involve very small blood vessels. This type of bleed may be caused by trauma or spontaneous rupture. Symptoms are associated with the functional area of the brain that is experiencing the trauma. Intracerebral bleeds are the second most common cause of stroke and the risk of experiencing this type of bleed is increased by high blood pressure and diabetes. Now for a summary of the four types of brain hemorrhages. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.